This tutorial reviews the total knee joint replacement procedure. From the blue man, select the total knee joint replacement procedure. The favourite template appears and select all images available, both knee joint and long leg, and open x-rays. Now in the scaling screen, all images need to be scaled individually. The knee joint images here have been scaled using the quick scale marker by just clicking on the object, remembering to check the direction for the lateral view. And the long leg image, which will open, has been scaled using the line tool and over typing the size required. All images will automatically be moved to planning once scaling is completed. For this particular image, we will look at the femoral leg alignment wizard which only applies in this case where you can see hip and knee on the one image. This just measures the varus valgus angle of the patient. Having a close look at the different parts of the wizard, the femoral head is outlined, femoral diaphysis and the base of the condyles giving a value of the current valgus angle. The other images are used to determine the size and position of the prosthesis. Looking first at the lateral image and planning, the femoral wizard sizes the femoral component. This is moved in position by using this double-ended arrow to rotate the wizard, the four-point star to position against the anterior femoral aspect and this square handle to position distally and posteriorly over the condyles. The tibial wizard is used for positioning only and is aligned to the anatomical axis and with the rectangular box over the extent of the tibial plateau. The three degree value can be altered for posterior slope by clicking on the meter or by setting it in preferences. The AP image which would also have been moved to planning, has the other two primary wizards, the, the femoral AP wizard, which is for positioning only, set the rectangular box over the straighter part of the femoral diaphysis shown, and the line which is placed across the condyles. The light blue line here in all of the wizards depicts the approximate cut line and is positioned 10 millimetres away from the dark blue line. The valgus angle again can be set in preferences or set here if required to be a different value to that one set. There are two tibial AP wizards. We are currently using the internal which is best to position if you only have a knee joint image. There is also an external which we'll show after looking at templating as an alternative if you have a long leg available. This is set so the anatomical axis is assessed and the handles are placed across the tibial plateau. The value here is the offset from the center midpoint of the axis to the center of the tibial plateau and can be useful if long stems are used in some cases. Move the image to templating. As the long leg is not going to be used for templating, this image is going to be closed. The size suggestions are recommended here in templating in the dark blue and light blue shoulder sizes. Insert thickness has not yet been selected and this area needs to be specified and otherwise incomplete prosthesis options will be shown. Choosing just the smallest value you see that the templates now become dark. Sizes can be tested however the 5 and 7 are incompatible so a size change would have to be made also in the femoral component which may not be practical. When happy with the particular case you can save or commit to the packs. Looking back at the full leg image, we can now review the tibial external wizard used when you have an external jig for the surgical procedure. 
Let's remove the leg alignment wizard we've already seen and add the tibial external wizard which has been pre-positioned. Zooming into the area, it sits across the tibial plateau and also the ankle. It's easiest to start with the ankle. First use the square handle on the medial side of the ankle joint and use the controller to outline the lateral side with the end bar. Then move to the tibial plateau and place the square handle on the medial and again use the controller to place the end bar on the lateral side of the tibial plateau. The third handle is a controller to be placed at whatever level a depth of stem is required and this will always show any difference between the anatomical axis and the midpoint of the tibial plateau defined. Looking at the full wizard, this completes the tutorial on the total knee procedure.